Have you ever heard the term obesogens? This is a new term coined by a UC Irvine biology professor, a Dr. Bloomberg. Now it's been shown that certain chemicals that we're exposed to have the biologic effect of causing obesity. Now the effect of, this of these chemicals can increase the number of fat cells, they can increase the size of fat cells, they can increase your appetite, they can decrease satiety, and they can even change our food preferences and even slow energy metabolism. Now another extremely scary effect that's in this category is from the chemical tributyl 10. It's abbreviated TBT. Now TBT is a chemical biocide that's used to preserve wood and it's also used as an active ingredient in sanitation of, of areas like arena floors and hospital floors. It's also been used in sports clothes because it prevents bacterial growth, thus order, odor. So it's a great thing to have in your kid's soccer jersey. Now, another use for this chemical is to repel rodents. Now, who was it that ever said that rats are dumb? Now, listen to this. A fetus exposed in utero to this chemical will be permanently fatter. TBT inappropriately activates PPAR gamma. Now this causes stem cells that might originally have been destined to become bone, instead become fat cells. Now the same mechanism, this PPAR activation, is responsible for the deadly side effects of the di diabetes drugs Avandia and Actos. So what are some of the other obesogens? Atrazine, DDE, these are found in pesticides and they've been shown to increase the BMI of children and also increase insulin resistance in rodents. And those poor rats are being picked on again. Now, phthalates uh, also do this. They're contained in PVC pipes, air fresheners, laundry products, and personal care products like makeup and lipstick. Now, BPA, we've all heard of BPA. That's used in water bottles and it's also used in canned food linings. Now this causes fewer fat cells, but they're bigger, and BPA creates more fat in the abdominal area. Now one of the scary things about BPA, as I've told you before, it's been shown that a low dose, much lower than the EPA limit, may be more harmful than a high dose. Now you've heard of perfluorooctanoic acid. Now that's PFOA. This is also a PPAR agonist. This chemical is used in nonstick cookware, Gore-Tex clothing, and the Scotch Guard fabric protector. So this PFOA has been shown to induce increased blood pressure in pregnancy. Studies of mice exposed in utero become obese. Now it's also been shown to increase the hormone leptin. Now leptin is supposed to turn off hunger, but it's elevated on in obese people and obese mice. So here's the bottom line. You want to be thin? Go live in a bubble. Or you can avoid chemical exposure by eating organic and using natural products. It's also critical to detox on a regular basis. In this world, we need to sweat it out, keep our livers healthy and the bile flowing. And we also need the nutrients and energy to power detoxification. And we do this with natural foods in our diet. Now please stay tuned because we're going to cover each one of these topics that are critical for preserving your health. This is Dr. G and I want to thank you for watching and please share this with a friend.